Baptist Ministry Television Program, an international evangelistic ministry reaching souls around the world for Jesus, a ministry with crimes and wonders, healing and deliverance, with your host, a Latter-day Apostle, a man with God's vision for today, one who's reaching out to the lost at any cost around the world for Jesus, Apostle Ronnie Bailey. Apostle Bailey is a man of God, operating in the gifts of the Spirit, healing miracles, and with a prophetic anointing upon his life. He has been called out by God to break down strongholds, break victory over drug and alcohol addicted people, poverty, generational curses, and all other spiritual bondages to bring God's holy restoration to souls around the world. If you need prayer or counseling, please avail yourself to our prayer and counseling hotline numbers. They are 337-706-7262. Welcome today to the Rock of Ages Ministries television program. My name is Apostle Ronnie Bailey, and I tell you, we have another power-packed program in store for you today. And today's topic is, what is God's vision, and what is His plan for our lives in 2014? Uh, just before the close of the year, every year we do a, a telecast similar. So uh, we have the prophets and prophetess in the studio, whether they classify themselves as that or not. But you know, they are, they are men and women of God that have been serving God throughout the year. And I know they have something special to share with you today as to what is God's plan for your life, amen, in 2014. And you may say, well, how, did they, how do they know me? You know, how did they know I would be watching? <laughs> Uh -huh. Well, again, I didn't say that they have anything special for you. It's going to be through the Spirit. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible said, let he that have ears to hear, let them hear what the Spirit has to say unto the church. Amen. 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 And uh, i like to uh, open up or set the stage with this scripture from Luke, the fourth chapter, beginning at the fourth verse. So actually Luke 4 and 4. And it says, and Jesus ans answered him, saying, it is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word yes. of God. Mm -hmm. Amen? That's right. We need to pattern our life by the word of God. Amen. The devil tempted Jesus in the wilderness. Amen. Amen. He said, why don't you just turn this stone into bread? He said, man shall not live by bread alone. Amen. You can have bread. It'll keep you alive for a little bit. Amen. But we need to plant our lives <clears throat> on the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, 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 you know, the word is, is the Bible. Right. Amen. But I like to also look at the uh, revelational meaning of the word. Mm -hmm. His name 
is Jesus. Amen. Amen. Can you say praise the Lord? Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. His name Amen. is Jesus. You can't live by bread alone, mm -hmm. but you got to live by Jesus, by the word of God. Amen. He is the word. He became flesh and he dwelt among us and we beheld his glory of that of the only begotten of the Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And as I go, we, we're about to um, go to uh, one of our anointed guests. Amen. I want, to, I want you to avail yourselves if you need prayer, counseling. Amen. Just uh, dial the number that's on your screen, 504-613-7234. And for those of you in the Acadiana area, 337-706-7262. And just before we get to that guest, I want to lead you through a special prayer. Hallelujah. Those of you that don't know Jesus Amen. as your personal Savior, Hallelujah. I want you to repeat this prayer with me along with those in the studio. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I know that I'm a sinner. I know that I'm Please, a sinner. Please forgive me. Please Wash me in your blood. Wash me in your blood. Come into my heart. Come into my Be heart. Lord of my life. Be Lord of my life. I receive you now. I receive you now. I know that I'm saved. I know that I'm saved. Heal me. Yeah. Yeah. Deliver me. Deliver me. And bless me right now. And bless me right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now we're about to go to station identification. And when we come back, we're going to hear from a powerful woman of God, Evangelist Hilda Miller. Don't touch that down. Amen. If you need prayer or counseling, Please avail yourselves to our prayer and counseling hotline numbers. They are 337-706-7262 or 504-613-7234. We have trained prayer counselors standing by right now to receive your call. If you need to write us, please send all of your correspondences to Rock of Ages Ministries, 201 South College Drive, Suite 214, Lafayette, Louisiana, 70503. And remember to add your prayer requests. Now back to today's program. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. God. Glory to God. So just avail yourselves. We have a trained and committed prayer council standing by right now to receive your call. And as I mentioned, we're talking about what is God's plan for your life <coughs> in 2014. I want you to be prayerful as the woman of God speak. Is, is she cannot individualize you, but you have to relate you have to apply it to your life so you can receive the, the benefits thereof. And remember what the scripture says. Uh, receive a prophet or a prophetess in my name and you shall receive a prophet's reward. Hallelujah. Welcome Evangelist Hilda Miller. Would you uh, do the honors? Thank you, Apostle Bailey, for having me today on your show. I thank the Lord for the opportunity. I'm Evangelist Hilda Miller. I'm from New Macedonia Baptist Church with Bishop Percy McCray. And the scripture I'd like to also confirm is Luke 4 and 4. And Jesus answered, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. So many times we think that we can live alone, we can live without God, but we cannot make it without the Lord. You know, discouragement comes, depression comes, loneliness comes, mm -hmm. but if you pick up the Word of God, the law will instill his love within you. Yes, his peace he can give you that no other man can give you. His love he can give you that no natural man can give you. But we have to rely on Jesus Christ to Hallelujah. comfort us, to take us in his my home. My God, my God. And, and just, just pat us and say, my child, <coughs> you're in the palm of my hand and no one can take you out. Hallelujah. You know, people isolate themselves. Three and a half years ago, I lost my husband and I isolated myself 
myself from everyone because I lost my friend, my lover, my everything. And I isolated myself from ministers, I isolated myself from churches, and I thought I could make it all alone. Until one day I heard a, a CD from Pastor uh, Bishop Percy McCray. And the CD said, you can run, but you can't hide. Mm -hmm. And I listened at that CD about how Jonah hide, ran and tried to hide from the Word of God. Uh -huh. But the Lord ship, uh, shacked up that ship, and Jonah <laughs> had to get off the ship. That's right. And you know, praise God, when I thought I could make it all alone, I had to get up and get out there. I listened at that CD so much that I had to run and see what man he, what man that God had told him this about. And when I met him, I felt the spirit of God in there. I felt the love. You know, praise God. And I thank God because, you know what? My main theory was, Lord, I don't want to die. I'm, you know, so many people say, what are you talking about not dying? Mm -hmm. I mean the isolation of dying. You're dead when you don't have Jesus in your life. Hallelujah. You're dead when you can't depend and call upon the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I was spiritually dying. I thought I had it going on. But I didn't have it going on because, you know what, praise God, I had separated myself. And God said, do not forsake the assembly of yourself. Join one to another, praise God, Hallelujah. and depend. And he said, I'll send you shepherds over you. I'll send people to help you. I'll send people to counsel right. you. He said, let him that have an ear, let him hear. So many times we don't want to hear. We do like the, the, the little child did, Solomon. He kept going back and thinking Eli was calling him. But it wasn't Eli calling him. It was the word of God. Mm. We have to ask God, God, can I hear your voice? God, will you speak to me. And then when God speak to you, know that it's the voice of God. Not the voice of man, but God. Hallelujah. God uses his people in different ways. God may use me in one way, use another apostle in another way, use another evangelist in another way. But it doesn't mean it came from, uh, didn't come from God. That's right. Just like Mark, Luke, John, and uh, Matthew. God used them in all ways, but they still meant the same thing. Mm -hmm. They still got to the point to let you know ye must be born again. Hmm. And Amen. you know, praise God, someone asked me today when I was preparing to come to the studio, they said, what are you doing? I said, I'm sitting down reading the word because I have to go to the studio. And they said, oh yeah, that's what you're going to do? I said, the Lord said, occupy till I come. Mm -hmm. Now this was another bishop asking me. I said, the Lord told me to occupy. I said, and if I don't occupy in the word of God, I'm going to spiritually die. And I don't want to die. Not spiritually anyway. I want to know that Jesus is my Lord. I want to know that Jesus is able to keep me. I want to know that Jesus is able to protect me and comfort me. I want to know my Savior. I want to hear him say, servant of God, well done. Amen. Amen. My God, let's Amen. give him Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to Praise God. God. Amen. And I tell you, um, we're just here. Uh, we're just... Uh, uh, waiting in the presence of the Lord. Amen. And we are, we are seeking a word, a word that, you know, that can remove all doubt, mm -hmm. that can turn our situation <coughs> around and plant our feet on solid ground. Amen. Uh, what I like to do is just uh, ex evangelist Matthew Wells just to introduce himself, and then we're going to take that break. And when we come back, we want you to have both guns loaded. Amen. And tell them what God's plan is for their life. Just introduce yourself right now. Amen. Praise the Lord for Jesus. I am Evangelist Matthew Wells from the New Home Ministry, 1616 Corona Lead Street. Uh, pastor Robert Blake Jr. is my pastor. And God has done a mighty work over there. Amen. And Hallelujah. God love you today. Yes, yes, yes. Praise God. So we can hear from Evangelist Wells right after the break. And just tell us in just about a minute uh, about that powerful person who's, I mean, the, the message that he spoke, that powerful word, uh, I believe it's uh, Pastor McCray or Bishop McCray. Bishop tell McCray. us a little bit about that real quick. Okay, Bishop McCray had made a CD, and my son would always bring home all the CDs. And it was about, you can run, but you can't hide. And it was about, uh, Jonah had got in the bottom of the ship. And the captain didn't know why so much was happening until they found someone asleep. Hmm. And then they had to throw him overboard. And it was just like my life. 
I thought my life was so together. I thought I didn't have to be bothered. I was sick of church people, sick of people pretending, and I just uh, thought I could do it all alone. Amen. Until I heard that tape, you can run, but you can't And, and where's the uh, church located, real brief, as we go to this break? 8308 Sheldon Road, uh -huh. uh, Sheldon Street in Metairie, Louisiana. He caught Amen. me a little off guard. I well, apologize. that's all right. I mean, we, we got to get a little piece of that sermon. And also, I've been to the church, and I know what you're saying. If they are very warm and loving people. But don't touch the dial. We'll be right back with evangelist Matthew Wells just after this important message and this beautiful song. To visit Rock of Ages Ministries on the web, just type into your web browser www.ronniebailey.com. You may click on links such as Missions, TV Schedule, Sermon of the Month, Contact Us, National, International, and Slideshow Galleries, just to name a few. Please add your contact information so that we can add your name to our mailing list. We would like to have the opportunity of following up with you in the future. For our international visitors, just click on your country's flag symbol located on our home page. This will change our entire website to the language of your choice. It's just that easy. Also, don't forget to sign our guest book. You may also insert your picture and comments if you choose as well. If you need prayer or counseling, please complete the information form below. One of our prayer counselors will respond as soon as we receive your request. We are committed to assisting you with your most earnest needs. picture gallery is also available to help acquaint you better with our ministry and the various events conducted throughout the year. You may also click on our slideshow gallery and enjoy continuous slide-by-slide, -slide, local, national, and international on our special large screen view. Our webcast channel is available to view a library of telecasts and video, organized by picture and title for your convenience.
That was the, uh, <clears throat> the blessed voices of Japan. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I tell you, uh, it's just so wonderful, God's handiwork. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now we are talking about, we're talking about what is God's plan for your life in 2014. Boys, it's something how the years are passing. <laughs> I remember we did this in 13 and 12 and 11 and 10. And now we're doing, what is God's plan for your life in 2014? You know, we have to stay with the Spirit. Amen. And look what it says. If you don't believe me, then, as Jesus said, then uh, if you don't believe me for my words say, he says, then look at my works. That's Amen? Right. And so we're going to go right to the Bible. I don't want you to believe, take my word. I want you to look at what God has said in Isaiah mm -hmm. 42 and 9. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it says, Behold, the former things are come to pass, mm -hmm. and new things do I declare mm -hmm. before they spring forth, mm -hmm. I tell you of them. Amen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're not in a church where, you know, that the, the nine gifts of the Spirit are in operation, then you might need to change your church. Amen. Because God is prophesying today. Amen. Hallelujah. And we have Amen. a prophet about to come up, but he, he used the title evangelist, but he's sure <laughs> enough a prophet. Amen. He sure enough can give you a word today. And Amen. his name is Evangelist Matthew Wells. Welcome again. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Saints of God. I'm happy to be here today in this studio. Amen. Talking about God's plan for our lives in 2014. Yes. God's plan is that we grow in his wisdom yes. and that we grow in his knowledge and that we grow in his word. Amen. Because there is power in the word of God. Yes, it is. There is healing in the word of God. Yes, say it that, is. There is deliverance in God's word. Yes. Amen. So that's his plan for our lives today. Sickness and diseases can't keep us down. Amen. If we operate in the plan of God. Amen. If we realize who God really is. Amen. God is strong and he's mighty. Yes, he is. He's a mighty God. Mm. Yes, he is. He is the prince of peace. He is everything that we need. Lily so of you need, amen, to operate in his plan. Yes, you Amen. do. His Amen. plan for our lives is that we prosper mm. and be in health, even as our soul prosper. Yes, it is. See, I don't know about you, but I want to prosper in the things of God. Yes, Lord. I want to eat 
the word of God. Oh, so yes. when I eat the word of God, amen, it's going to digest. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then, hallelujah, it's going to spring up yes. Yes, yes. and bring forth abundantly of fruit. Amen. When you operate in the power of God. That may be somebody that listens to me this evening. You may be strung out on drugs. You may be even strung out on alcohol. God's plan for your life is that you be delivered. Amen. And once you get delivered, you need to find you a Holy Ghost church. Amen. Amen. Where God is moving by his power. Where God is moving by his spirit. God is moving in strange ways in these last and evil days. You just need to catch on fire and connect with the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, study to show thyself approved. A workman of God that need not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Come on now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before I get to heaven, I want to read this little story coming out of Isaiah chapter mm-hmm. 43. Mm. Uh, he said, verse number 18, he said, Remember ye not the former thing, All right now. neither well, consider well, 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 well. the things of old. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and a river in the desert. All right. All right. God want to, amen, make a river in your dry spirit. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. He, if your spirit is dry, he going to wet it for you mm. with his anointing seed. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. It is the anointing that the yoke is destroyed because of the anointing. Hallelujah. If you don't have no anointing, ain't no need you trying to Fight against demon spirits. Well, because they gonna handle you like you ain't never been handled before. Amen. But if you are anointed, you can break that yoke. Hallelujah. Because the yoke is destroyed because of the anointing. That's right. And in 2014, you can have the victory in Jesus. Yes. If you follow him. Hallelujah. See, he told his disciples to follow me. See, you got to follow Jesus if you're gonna have the victory in 2014. If you want, if you want to have eat the good of the land, yes. you gonna have to follow Jesus. That's right. That. Because Jesus is the answer to the world's problem. Ooh, Jesus God. is everything that we need. Hallelujah. See, all you need to do is catch a hope to faith. Faith is the something of things hoped for. That's right. The evidence of things not seen. Not seen. Mm-hmm. You don't see how you're gonna come out. You don't see how you're going to be delivered. Mm-hmm. You don't see how you're going to get the money to pay your rent. But you know you already have it by faith. <laughs> see, it's all about faith yeah. in him. See, in him we live and we move and we have our being. But you got to understand that without this word, we are nothing. Mm-hmm. With this word, we can do all things. That's right. Mm-hmm. Because all things are possible mm-hmm. to them that believe it. Say yes, that. Sir. Say that. Do you, do you believe today? Yes. You out there are strung out on drugs. Do you believe God is a healer? Well, well, well. Do you believe that God can snatch the alcohol out of your spirit? Say that. Say that. Do you believe God can bring you off the corner prostitute? Yes. Do you believe? You got to believe your way to heaven. Ain't yes. no work you got to do. Yes, Lord. Just believe it. Yes, Jesus. And God will bring it to pass. If you speak it, he'll bring it to pass. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm going to speak my victory mm-hmm. in 2014. Hallelujah. And I'm going to have what I ain't never had before. Mm. Say that. Say because that. Because I'm going to walk by faith. Hallelujah. I'm going to walk in Jesus. That's right. Jesus is the answer to the world's problem. Yes, 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 yes. You don't have a problem. You just need to have a little faith in God. Amen. Remember today that I love you and Jesus Christ love you today. Amen. 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 Let's give the Lord a hand clap for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Powerful word. Powerful word. Glory to God. Glory to God. And we have a doctor in the house. (laughs) A doctor in the house. (laughs) And that's Dr. June B. Paul of Operation Outreach for Souls. And we want her to uh, respond (laughs) in her own way, that is, to what is God's plan for our lives in 2014. Welcome once again. Thank you, Apostle Bailey, to all the members of the panel here, who, and some of whom have already spoken so eloquently. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, we're joining all of you who are there in ministry and who are working so diligently for, for the Lord. 
and the ministry that uh, God has given us is called Operation Outreach for Souls. Amen. But you Amen. know, uh, thank God for this topic today and, and thank mm -hmm. the Lord that we have reached the end of another calendar year. It just seems uh, a <laughs> little while, a few months ago that we were in uh, the first of the year. And I said, where has the time gone? Amen. But that's, that's what uh, uh, the, the pace is escalating, dear beloved. And uh, uh, many of us are about uh, other things other than waiting and expecting uh, the Lord to come. Hallelujah. Amen. But if we're in the word of God, we mm. will be, uh, in spite of some of the things that uh, are going on, we would be living uh, with great expectancy, even as That's those right. uh, predecessors of ours, the great men and women uh, that we read about in the Bible. And God has left a blueprint. He has left uh, many signs that have been recorded, and we've seen them uh, already. Uh, many of them come to pass. But we want to just share a couple of points with you. Amen. We see that uh, the time is at hand. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. The time is at hand. Yes. And uh, we call your attention to uh, Revelation chapter 1. Uh, and uh, we know that John, the apostle, mm. was in prison on the Isle of Patmos for the word of God. Hallelujah. For the testimony. Amen. 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 And, you know, yes, just Lord. as John was sent there, uh, <laughs> we are God's representative here. We are on uh, wherever your little island is, where wow. you are, your yes, island, Glory. In your home or wherever. But you are there. Amen. To represent the Lord Jesus Christ. And you are his government here on this earth. Yes, yes you are. And you will soon be with Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because uh, many will be here on the earth, and many of us will already have been gone to be with the Lord. My but, God. Uh, live in expectancy, because God has a mm. he has He has something that He has for us in the Word Glory. of God, Hallelujah. and He has promised that we have. Uh, uh, not only as we're here on earth, but he has a heavenly kingdom uh, residence for yes, us. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory <laughs> to God. Thank you, Jesus. You know, dearly beloved, uh, preparation for the things to come. Preparation not only for uh, tomorrow, but all of, and we're talking about 2014. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say that. The Lord. Yes, yes. Thank and, you, Jesus. Uh, we, we can find out how to be prepared from this word, the word Hallelujah. of God. There's no getting around it. Amen. And uh, many people are prepared now by giving themselves to the Lord. Amen. And have been empowered with the power of the Holy Ghost. Hey. Amen. And Hallelujah. Many, many of us are over in the non believers uh, when Noah was preparing the ark and he prepared it upon God's instruction for a hundred years or so. Hallelujah. And the people were making fun and the Bible says that Jesus would come back even as in the days of Noah when they were parting and giving in marriage and so forth. You know the signs of the Bible. But I tell you, Noah and his family kept on working until God said, okay, now mm. bring in the animals, bring in your family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The rain is coming. Hallelujah. Yes, yeah. Lord, God is not <laughs> short. Uh, uh, mm. in his word. Concern his word. So That's right. Get prepared because the time is at hand. And dearly beloved, we call your attention again. Uh, uh, with, uh, the time is at hand. Start reading the book of Revelation. Ask the Holy Spirit of God to give you huh. uh, much insight. Amen. Some people are afraid of that, uh, that particular book. But no, God is saying, focus in because I've given you all of the other from Genesis, and now we're, we're into uh, Revelation. Well, Glory to God. Well, I'm well. excited about mm -hmm. all the signs and wonders, dearly beloved, and this is what God is saying for you and for me in 2014, that the, the uh, evils and some of the bad things are going to escalate. Amen. Your money is going to be My sharp God. for some of you, that that you have counted upon. Amen. There are going to be earthquakes and things that are happening even more here in the United States. Amen. Yes, Not yes, just yes, abroad, yes, yes. but you prepared and get yourself prepared and let God elevate you in the spirit. Amen. Because you're going to you're going to be you, some of you, to call down manna from heaven when you yes. don't have food to eat. Hallelujah. And when your shadow passes, uh, the sick shall be uh, raised up. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, don't you want to be in that number? Yes. And, and God is calling 
Many of us out of the traditional scene. Amen. Many of us are stuck in the walls. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. But hallelujah. hallelujah. Get out there. Amen. And let God use you to bring hope. Hallelujah. To a dying world. This is going to be a time of trouble. Hallelujah. More and more in 2014. But it'll be one of the most exciting times ever. Because Jesus is preparing his bride. Amen. He's preparing to come back on that white horse. Hallelujah. When the dead shall be raised. Hallelujah. We'll come back with him. Oh, I'm excited. And you are too. God bless you and keep you as our prayer for you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a hand clap. Amen. And we'll be right back after this break. Hallelujah. Picture Gallery is also available to help acquaint you better with our ministry and the various events conducted throughout the year. You may also click on our slideshow gallery and enjoy continuous slide-by-slide, -slide, local, national, and international on our special large screen view. Our webcast channel is available to view a library of telecasts and video organized by picture and title for your convenience. Just click on the webcast channel of your choice by clicking on the appropriate symbol. here for you 24 hours a day and seven days a week for your convenience. Just type www.RonnieBailey.com and sit back and relax and enjoy our website and be sure to invite your friends as well.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the voices of recovery all the way from Lafayette, Louisiana, and the Acadian area. Of course, uh, a lot of you out there in the Acadian area are watching our telecast, as well as uh, those of you in the New Orleans area. And we just want to say real briefly, uh, uh, we have recently went on the All Nations uh, TV. Amen. All Nations TV, which is shown all over the world. Uh, a potential viewing audience of five plus million people. And the latest uh, network that we have been invited to uh, share is uh, Bright Star Christian TV all the way in Pakistan. So we just want to give you a wave, amen, and say God bless you. Uh, God and bless we, are, you. we are happy to be with you. And we want you to also know what God's plan for your life is in 2014. Amen. And so we're going to move right on over to our very next guest, Minister Carlise. Uh, he and I goes way back. Mm -hmm. Amen. The rock of ages of old. Hallelujah. And he is truly a man after God's own heart. Welcome. Welcome. Praise thank God. you, sir. And thank you for allowing me the opportunity to share a word with you as we go into the new year. Some of us may not even make it into the new year. We may go all the way up to 1159 and still not make it into the well, new year. Well. But I want you to know that it's time for us to break up the fallow ground. Yes. As one of the prophets said, Ezekiel or either Jeremiah. It says that in Isaiah, the fathers have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are on edge. We have all kinds of right. gangs in our communities. We have all kinds of black on black crime. We have all kinds of young people killing other young people. Mm -hmm. But you know, when integration came, we started making more money than we ever made in our lives because jobs mm -hmm. opened up to us that weren't opened up That's before. Right. That's and right. we stopped going to church. We stopped sending our children mm -hmm. to church. Mm -hmm. And we didn't bring our children to church. And Bye -bye. so now we are reaping the benefits of all of that bad stuff that we did. It's coming back. And as Malcolm X said a long time ago, the pigeons are coming home to roost. Said when you train up your children, when they're young, they step on your feet. My God. And when they're older, they step on your heart. But it says train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart therefrom. Mm -hmm. It says, remember in the days of thy youth, thy creator, before the evil days come upon you. Yes. And I don't know about you, but I know about in me and my youth. I went to church, but I wasn't really serving God. I was just going to church out of tradition. And everybody said there's nothing but a bunch of hypocrites in church. Yeah, there are hypocrites in church, but what you got in the world? You got hypocrites, you got murderers, you got rapists, you got liars, you got everything else out there. Have mercy. So one thing you also have in the church, you have some doves and you have some sheep. So don't worry about the hypocrites in church. Come on in the church and hook up with a dove. Yeah. Come on in the church and hook up with one of the sheep. Yes. And follow the word of God. Amen. You don't come to church for other people. You come to church for yourself. That's right. And God is not moved by anything but faith. Mm -hmm. And it says faith cometh by hearing. All right. Thank and you. by hearing the word, the of, word God. of God. Yes. That's right. And how can he hear except there be a preacher? And how can he preach except, except he, he be sent? So I'm telling you today, why don't you come on in this house? Come on in this house and serve the Lord. Amen. 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 That was beautiful. Amen. Yes, I deserve a round of applause. Amen. Mm -hmm. I know they're, they're applauding in their homes right now. and uh, But we want to leave a little time for our closing. Uh, the, uh, the minister of the evening is going to put the cap on what is God's plan for your life in 2014. And this is uh, Pastor... Uh, Tucker, all the way from Thibodeau, Louisiana. Amen. Amen. He presses his way here. So yes, I know I he's got a special word for you. So take your liberty at this time and uh, 
And I just uh, want the rest of us to be prayerful. Praise God. Hallelujah. First of all, I wish to thank the many wonderful guests that had proceeded before me in helping me to get to this point. Whereas we able to minister to you and let you know what God's plan for your life in 2014. Ezekiel 12, 25 says, for I am the Lord, I will speak and the words that I shall speak shall come to pass. Mm. Well, it shall no longer be mo no more prolonged. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> God is not going to prolong the blessings and promises he have for you in 2014. Come on. I want you to understand this. Don't worry about what people said about yes, you. Yes, yes. Remember what God has spoke on you. Praise yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. God yeah. has spoke greatness on you. Hallelujah. God has spoke life and life more abundantly well, upon you. Hallelujah. And God said his word is not going to come back void. When God said that you should have and you should eat the fruit of the land, then you get ready to eat, baby. You get ready to go into that land. You get ready for those shackles to fall off. I can just see that son coming home right now. I can see that daughter that you've been praying for coming home right now. I can see those people coming out of prison being changed and becoming up, com, upstanding communities of our society. I can see the projects changing. I can see because God is going to use everyone in his church including you well, out there. Well, Hallelujah. Well. It is no, by, no coincidence or accident. It's not because Jupiter crossed over Mars that you're watching this telecast right now. It is because you were preordained and destined to be here to hear this word of life. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something my friend. We've all Amen. Have God's spirit. That's right. And right now I could just see God's spirit just moving on you. And as it begin to move on you, God say, I want you to take the vision, write it down and make it plain. Amen. I ask you, I for you to do just that right now. After this teleclass, I want you to get out your pen and pencil and I want you to write that vision down and make it, make plain. it plain. And then I want you to pray over that thing and anoint it with Amen. oil. And I'm going to be praying with you. We're going to be praying with you and interceding with you. And I guarantee you that that vision should come to pass. I Amen. guarantee you that everything that God has said and has promised to you it shall take place. God is not slack concerning his promise, and it's impossible for God to lie. When God said about Job that this was an upright man, the devil came and said, oh, no, he's not upright. Oh, no, he will curse you to your face. But the whole thing was Job couldn't curse God to his face because God had already spoken that Job was an upright man. God has already spoken on your life. Hallelujah. Amen. He has said you're the head and not the tail. He said hallelujah. you're above, above and not beneath. Mean. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> and if God has spoken it on you, hallelujah, you get ready to go into that promised land that God has promised to you Amen. because it's yours. And it's not only for you, it's for your children and your children's children. Hallelujah. And it's time out for us to stop taking a back seat, just letting the devil run all over us. No, we have power. We Ooh. have authority. And the power meaning that we have the end thou word of God, the explosion, the dunamis, the dynamite power when God says we have. Hallelujah. Yes. Now listen to me, my friend. I want to pray for you right quick. I want to pray for you that every great thing that comes into pass for 2014. Heavenly Father, I pray right now. I pray and I make intercessory prayer. And Father, I know some of these people have people that are in prison that they've been worried about. God, right now in the name of Jesus, God, I ask that you move on post-conviction release. God, I ask Jesus. that you move on bond. God, I ask you to touch the judge, that you do whatever you have to do, God. And Father, but most important, I ask that you save that soul. And Father, I ask that you reach out to anyone that don't know you, God, and those that need help and those that need strength. God, I pray for them that you strengthen them right now in the name of in Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And Father, it is in your name that we pray. It's in that name that's given above all names, where every knee shall bend and every tongue shall confess. It's in the perfect blood bought of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray amen and amen. Now get up and get ready to go and live your life more abundantly this year in 2014. It is your your year. Hallelujah, Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory Hallelujah. to God. And we just want to thank God for that powerful, profound word of God. Amen. And now we have done our parts as prophets and prophetess of the evening. Amen. We have been sent by God on a mission to give you a word. And now that you have that word, what are you going to do with it? Amen. Amen. 
In uh, Ezekiel, the third chapter, I'm going to read real briefly as we're coming to a close. It says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest. So you, find, you found some good food today. Oh, yes, amen. Yes. Eat this roll. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. And go speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He caused me to eat that roll. You ate that roll today. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with thy roll that I give thee. Then did I eat. And it was like a honey in my mouth Hallelujah. for sweetness. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's going to be your word for the day. We're going to close with that. I want to thank all of our guests. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap for all of our guests. And I want to thank you for tuning in today from myself, Apostle Ronnie Bailey, and all of us at Rock of Ages Ministries. We want to thank you. We want to thank all of our new uh, television affiliates uh, in Pakistan and also the All Nations TV, Bright Star Christian TV. We want to thank you and we look forward to serving you more. So you just have a uh, Merry Christmas, amen, and a most prosperous New Year. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And keep Hallelujah. God first in your life. Amen. 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 This is our prayer. And so let us just close in prayer as we go into the close of the telecast. Father, we thank you right now, Lord, you, Lord. to keep your hand upon each and every one, O oh, Father. You, Lord. And Lord, we just ask, Lord, that man will not live by bread alone, Hallelujah. but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. In Jesus' name, God bless you and may keep you. Hallelujah. This is our prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. for tuning in today and on behalf of Apostle Ronnie Bailey and all of our guests here at Rock of Ages Ministries we hope that you will take these truths expressed on today's telecast and pass it on to others along your life's journey. We also pray that you join with us in taking this message around the world for Jesus. Remember we can't beat God giving no matter how hard we try for the more we give unto him the more he'll give back unto us. Now, if you need prayer or counseling, please avail yourselves to our prayer and counseling hotline. The numbers are area code 337-706-7262 or 504-613-7234. If you would like to write us, please send all correspondence to Rock of Ages Ministries, 201 South College Road, Suite 214, Lafayette, Louisiana, 70503. And remember to add your prayer request. Our email address is ronnie at ronniebailey.com and our website can be assessed anytime at ronniebailey.com. You may also watch our telecast on our brand new webcast channel at www.vo.com forward slash channels forward slash Rock of Ages TV and enjoy our telecast anytime, 24 hours a day, seven days a week at your convenience. Now, once again, we thank you for tuning in today. We trust that you've been blessed. Now, until next time, about this same scheduled time, may God bless you. This is our prayer. <laughs>